Happy New Year, and thanks for coming back for another Week in Weed Review. Jumping right into the last industry event was the Dope Magazine Holiday Party. Uh, that was a good one. Um, if you haven't seen it, you can go to uh, marijuanaandbusiness.com, and you can take a listen to some of the interviews that I gave uh, to David Tran and interviewed some other folks. Uh, it was a good party. Uh, I'm looking forward to the one coming up in Canada, the Lyft Conference. Um, that's assuming I can get through the border, and I have to tell them that it's just a uh, vacation. Apparently, if you tell them that you're in the cannabis industry, there's no chance you're getting through. So, vacation it is. And then locally, there's the Washington State Cannabis Summit. This is the fifth annual cannabis summit. So that should be good to, to hear what's going on in, in the local region. And then jumping right into ripped from the headlines, I kind of like to start at a low point because the show can't get any worse from here. Um, this guy tried to go through a drive through paying with cannabis and the cops just really didn't find that funny. I find that crazy that he even got arrested, but where is it? Um, I'm guessing Louisiana. What do you guys think? So this kind of reminds me of that Dab Stars video that went viral with millions and millions of views where Jonah went through the drive through and then gave somebody a dab. I don't even think it was for free food. It was free dab. Those guys got fired. Nothing happened to him, but this guy apparently got so lucky. All right, so with trending is CBD. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that came up uh, this year with the hemp bill that recently passed, um, essentially legalizing CBD on a national level. The FDA, I believe, stepped in and said, not so fast. Uh, we're not going to allow you to put that into food quite yet. So still kind of trying to figure out uh, where CBD is going to land. I know California was the first state that said industrial hemp is not for uh, consumption. And so now sort of the FDA is uh, coming on the back of the heels of that and saying not so fast. So we will have to wait and see what happens. But definitely, I think everyone is going to have CBD infused everything, not just Coca-Cola, uh, but you'll see it in coffee. And it'll be the, the highlight of 2019 for sure. Um, so here's some interesting news. There's a, a gal that was a former service coordinator who was fired for helping a 78 year old who was evicted for cannabis. And then after she helped this person, she got fired too. So I'm not gonna really jump into this too much. I'll leave a link in the comments, or uh, excuse me, uh, in the notes, and then you guys can check it out. But hopefully this is what's going to change in 2019. That's really my point, is that things like these, things that we're seeing is, is over. So teacher gets a job offer rescinded after disclosing medical marijuana. They said it wasn't an issue initially. And then after the test came back negative, she got fired. So we're really hoping 2019 is uh, the year where all of this is, is over. So this, this uh, is a little entrepreneur who brought some chocolate uh, to college and made $1,600 in just a couple of days. So, I'd like to see more of that. So here's some good news. 119 foot, 24 karat gold joint rolled in Massachusetts sets a new record. I'm not really sure how the airflow is gonna work on that. Um, by the way, congratulations to uh, uh, Lyra Canagar, who just sold $11,000 for Canagar, most expensive product in Nevada. So I'll see some more of that stuff. Um, what I like to see here is a chart of the week, direct impact from 2018 Farm Bill on hemp cultivators. So you can see that um, processing, about half of that, uh, a lot of producer processors, there's so many mom and pops uh, coming out, making their own CBD, it's insane. Lack of banking services, that's, come on, 28%. I need harvesting equipment. Again, you need financing in order to lease that equipment. Difficulty finding seeds or clones. 
managing the growth and scalability? Absolutely. Federal laws, not more. Pest and weed pressure, yes. In international news, we are seeing that Canada is drafting legislation for cannabis edibles. They're banning alcohol, so that's interesting because Corona put 4.5 billion. Um, I think Budweiser put 2 billion, but they are all after edibles uh, and vape. But they're capping the THC, so we'll have to see what happens with that. So there are some hostile takeovers. This is an interesting part about uh, the, the cannabis industry is a hostile takeover is when you have shares that are publicly traded, company comes in and buys all the outstanding shares and essentially takes the company over. It's a hostile takeover. So for those that don't know, Afria is going through some turmoil right now with their shareholders who are claiming that they are um, doing some fraudulent activity. For example, in Latin America, they purchased, I believe, a $50,000 building gutted and claimed that it was a $50 million, $60 million, or maybe $250 million. It, it was ridiculous. It was fraud, regardless of the price. And that's been happening more and more with these guys. And so it's kind of one of the, the bigger um, frauds in the cannabis industry, aside from pumpkin pumps. Asian Industries, I believe, lost their license. The first and only company in Canada to lose their license. I was actually at their facility this time last year to help them scale their, their joint manufacturing. And, um, and now they lost a third of their staff. They lost their production. Um, that's really unfortunate. It's, it's the only time that's ever happened. And it happened because they... Uh, apparently sold product to a dispensary that was closed. So, uh, I'm not closed, I'm sorry. Unregistered. Uh, and, and they had black market stuff too, like in bags, ready to go, um, not registered. So, which was crazy because when I visited them, their facilities were on point. So, like I mentioned, Budweiser came in. They're, they're not looking for infused drinks, I don't think, because... They just paid $13 billion to buy Juul, the vape pen. I think I think this is just to get in the game and, and play around um, and then bring CBD to the, to the world. But vape pens, I think in the meantime, is going to be their market maker as they slowly build up uh, their their worldwide CBD beverage. Because doesn't, doesn't Coca-Cola have Coca-Cola Life? It's got a green label on it. Ridiculous. It's like the complete opposite. Sugar just kills you. And for another podcast. So banking, that was one of the, the issues with hemp. Uh, 29.8% It's ridiculous. This is one of the biggest issues out there. Um, but Massachusetts is going to uh, try to accept deposits. But good luck on your federal charter. Jumping into cannabis stocks real quick. Nobody was safe this year. Everybody got annihilated. Um, you, you did see some overall 100% plus, um, but in the more recent month, everyone's just been hammered. And that's the same for all indexes, the Dow, the S&P, um, the Toronto Stock Exchange, the Marijuana Composite, that 36%. And to do a full circle on that interview I did with David Tram at the Dope Magazine Industry Party, everybody basically said consumption was going to be the thing, the hot item for 2019. So um, I guess I would jump on that bandwagon. The Super, Seattle Super Chronic Cafe should be a thing. Consumption of CBD um, can be the face of that. So coffee shop, CBD, convert that into consumption when the laws allow this is definitely going to be the jump off. So this is trending. This is hot. That's my take. Let me know what you think on 2019. It should be a good year.